Yeah, it was a great stadium, and I think our players have been, you know, um, anticipating, um, you know, with a lot of confidence what, what, what they can do there. Um, but getting out of the ground and looking at our rooms, they're, they're our rooms, you know, they're branded with our, uh, with our colours, and, uh, and having a look around the stadium was, was magnificent for everyone. reaction when they got to finally well, see it. Part of trying to get out there early is trying, you know, make it feel like home as quick as we can because it, um, you know, it's a, it's a pretty big stadium and it's round one against Sydney, we'll, we'll get 60,000 there. So uh, try and anticipate what that's going to feel like and prepare for it uh, starts now for us. Oh, well, all of them, all of them will be. Um, I think the key with um, Bards and Scotty is they can easily, easily play forward. So all three of those um, guys could potentially play. Um, so th and that's the thing with football. You've got 45 blokes on the list trying to fit into 22, so there's going to be a bit of competition. Um, but Scotty, Scotty looked good today. You know, unfortunately, he's only played one game in 12 months, um, and Vards has been doing really well. So um, there'll be um, a couple of tough decisions, I assume, for the match committee you know, coming into February and March. Yeah, so it, looking back at it, it's pretty funny, but it was pretty heartbreaking at the time. Uh, so last year, I just had a training drill on a uh, on a Monday Monday morning. Simo came up to me and I guess asked me if I was ready to play, and kind of gave me a little hint. And then towards the end of the training session, I just yeah hurt my, hurt my big toe, which yeah kind of cost me a, a debut, I guess. But um, that's footy, and I'm sure I'll look back at it and couple years time and laugh about it but hopefully there's many more positive memories to come. Oh, I think once I once I lost my spot um, and then came back I was just nowhere with my confidence so uh, first and for, foremost was probably just sorting that out and getting some uh, you know trusting myself a little bit with what I can what I can do on the footy field and I think you know, a lot of it for me was upstairs. Like, but you know, by the second half of the year after it being dropped, it was just I was nowhere, and um, it probably showed when I when I did get a few more games later on. So, uh, yeah, just sorting that out, um, and, yeah, and then just you know, just trying to improve every day out in this preseason. Now we you get, don't get the longest preseason anymore without a break, so you've got to you know really show what you can do early on and um, see how you go.